I mean, how is it the only person infatuated with me is someone who doesn't even know me? No! The driver! You're gonna get us killed! No, I'm gonna catch our killer detective! No! No! Hold on! No! Right. Better hold on! Welcome. I have a sample of your blood, and I'm going to take it and test it. Oh. And I'm going to find out exactly what you are once and for all. Oh, yeah. The devil himself. No, I'm guessing Larry Morningstar, the son of a plumber in Connecticut. Three, two, four, Do not touch the charred crotch. Is a sentence I never thought I'd say out loud. Man, you really don't shut up. Congratulations, detective. I suppose you could say I look quite extinguished. Right. What do you think? It's good likeness, isn't it? That's it. I'm pulling the plug. I'm getting you out of here. Yeah, I should get my own desk. Not happening. Right next to yours would probably be best. Definitely not happening. Why are you hovering over me? I'm not hovering. I'm just spending time with my partner. Oh, well, since you're here, why don't you help me with this paperwork? Right. I could really get used to this, partner. The... Where did that sandwich come from? The patrol guys give them to us when we're on stakeouts. I'm starving. Good. What the hell? I think I've broken my therapist. And now she's somewhere to the left of totally useless and to the right of babbling lunatic. So she's you, in a skirt. Very funny. This is serious, Detective. I'm actually a bit worried for her. Mm, I'm sure she'll be fine, but if you need anyone to talk to, I'm here. This is actually something I can't discuss with you. What? I'm sure I can handle it. I've seen all your ugly parts by now. Not even close, I'm afraid. Saved by the douche. We're different, but too different. Well, as a wise man once said, opposites attract. I believe that was an animated cat in a music video. A wise animated cat. Tall, non-fat almond milk latte with sugar-free caramel drizzle and no vodka this time. What's the occasion? I thought we could celebrate our first day together as crime-solving divorcees. <laughs> oh, making a joke you don't like, check, see? We'll be back to normal in no time. Oh, not until you start whining about how boring the case is. <laughs> well, touche, detective. It's good to be back on a studio set, detective. Not really. Bringing back memories of your acting days. Okay. If you're feeling nostalgic, sure I can find some horny teenagers in a hot tub. Because the movie you're in. Yeah, I got it. Is everything all right, detective? You seem distracted. And usually I get at least a glimmer of a smile from my remarks, the occasional eye roll. I think I got a snort once. This is ridiculous. But you have experience with emotionally fragile men, don't you? You're self aware today. Honey, you. you popped out her eye. Yeah, that was an accident. Well, I think she looks rather fetching. Lucifer. Hello, detective. It's a douche. Offspring. You know, I bet you're actually behind this, aren't you? Sadly, no. Can't take the credit, but I do approve. Can we get to work now, please? Just wondering if there's any fresh homicides popped up. <sighs> oh, you know, when you make that face, you look a bit like the doll. <laughs> Do not touch the charred crotch. Dan, I thought we talked about this. A united front, especially hey. now. Don't look at me. Oh, she's here. Lovely. Did the mini kitchen come soon? Lucifer, you shouldn't have gotten her the doll. It's fine. You can say it's from you. <sighs> oh, look. She comes with an adorable little chocolate cake, your child's favorite. I will deal with you later. You're welcome. No, oh, no, 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 not the Italian leather. Bloody hell. Yeah, more like karma. <laughs> Come on, it is quite funny. You're a bad mother. Really? I think you might be projecting a little bit. <laughs> really? How's that? Well, you keep trying to pin murders on your own mother. I'm guessing you and her don't have the best relationship. There. Just to get to keep the cute little chocolate cake. Oh, come on. <laughs> OK. I, I apologize. I'm just being thorough. 
Call me. Easy. Okay, fine. Maybe I've been a little hard on Dan lately, but he deserves it. And I'm sure you found it very satisfying. But have you considered for just one moment how your fighting affects those caught in the middle? You mean Trixie? What? No, I mean me. Think how terribly bored I am by it all. This is an extremely high-profile case. We are doing this by the book. I cannot have you terrorizing him. I would never. Or threatening to tear his arms off. That's happened one time. Or hanging him from a window. I solemnly promise that a man's feet will remain firmly on the ground. When was the last time you had fun? Oh, well... No, seriously, name three friends you could call right now for a drink. And you can't say me, your child, or the man you're divorcing. Well, trust me, man is not on my list of drinking buddies. What? Daniel? Hey, I didn't mean it like that. She did. Sorry all this food can't go to waste, detective. You look like hell. <clears throat> but it's not heard that before. Saved your life. <laughs> Maybe. You never know. What are you talking about? Well, it appears that I was correct this morning. You are being targeted by cosmic forces. But fear not, it's all being dealt with, and I'm here. Now, what is with everyone in this car accident? I'm fine. No, I'm afraid that you're not. And so, for the next day or so, I'm going to need you to be unpredictable. Whatever you'd normally do, just you know, do the opposite. Too bad. I was totally going to have sex with you today. Really? Oh. Well played, detective. <laughs> yes, but until the threat has passed, just to be safe, I won't be leaving your side. So just think of me as your guardian devil. OK, detective, in order to do so, we need to blend in. Meaning? Meaning less hall monitor, more sort of hot for teacher. So do you mind if I... Thank you. I got it. Oh, come on. You're staring. I... Fine. Precinct, I'll see what I can find. For the Insta? No. No? Nope, not cool. Uh, can I talk to you for a second? It, it, but you've got to say this. A, a naked man thinks he can jump on the back of a rhino. <laughs> you never guess what he lands on. Actually, he probably will. What? You've seen it already? You stay here, find some water, calm down. I'm going to talk to some witnesses and pull yourself together. You look like a homeless magician. Do you still think this is about you? Of course I do. But it's worse than I thought. My mum's clearly playing the long game, taunting me with my own distorted image again and again. No, really. Do you really think the drug dealer is your mother? Well, she's clever enough to pull it all off. What? You thought I took after my dad? You don't have to believe anything I say, detective. Test my blood. Oh, dear me. Why are you hesitating? Scared to find out the truth? I'm not scared about anything other than finding out what STDs you have. Very funny. What are you doing, detective? Sending him an email. <laughs> what? You pathetic, sad sack. No wonder you didn't get tenure. Your experiments are as ugly as you are. Well said, detective. Seriously? Insulting a serial killer? That's an awesome idea. Thank you. Also, his mask is a bit lame. Could be much creepier. Put that in. Chloe, don't send this. All right, it's not you. This is this is it's a rash move. Well, that's great. I mean, what could go wrong, right? I mean, surely this won't force the psycho underground. It won't cause him to do anything. Chill out, Dan. <clears throat> that better not be Marla's base. It's already been processed, and I've written you a song. Ready? Crime-solving devil. It makes sense. Don't overthink it. Well, I'm telling you, we're wasting time. It was the only vehicle parked near the crime scene between midnight and 5 a.m. Yes, but how do you know this park van's even the same one? I mean, there's no license plates on this image. Oh, come on. How many vans have dandelions on the well, side? Not dandelions, they're jellyfish. What? Jellyfish? Right, yes. Well, look, I'm simply saying that we should be focusing on more pressing criminal issues. Such as? Well, I'm glad you asked, actually. The death of Celeste McDougall. Very suspicious indeed. Oh, she was 92. Yes, and fit as a fiddle. <sighs> I mean, look at her smug face. I know. Look, look. Yeah, I got it. I got it. Lucifer. Detective! Seriously? Okay, outside, now. Detective, woohoo! You okay? <coughs> no.
Neljähdä. What's wrong? Maze. Problem at Lux. Problem? What, one of the Britney's stubber toe? You're leaving? Mr. Cooper was one of the most hated men in the city. We have tons of suspects to go over. And if I don't get there soon, Maze will undoubtedly fix the problem herself, which usually involves knives. But so, unless you want to be blamed for a four-toed Britney. OK, guys, let's go. Thanks, guys. Lucifer, what the hell were you thinking? <laughs> Turn the music back on. This place is dead. <laughs> well, you heard the lady. Crank it up! <laughs> Take two. Does that mean you're on my side now? Lucifer, this is your home. I've always been on your side. Well, if you're going to stay, come on, stay. No, I don't want to dance. No, 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 come on. You're the guest of honor now. Come on. Stay or should I go now? Should I stay or should I go now?